Oil spills in our oceans and pollution in our waterways can both have a devastating effect on our environment. But what if they could be mopped up just like a kitchen spill? Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm here at QUT's Institute for our Future Environments, where we think we can, which is something we call nanofabric. Nanofabric is a fabric coated with tiny nanostructures, microscopic in fact. These tiny structures give the fabric some unexpected and very specific properties, like being able to separate oil and water. But how do these structures get onto the fabric? It's all thanks to a process called electroplating, which has been around for hundreds of years. The electroplating process forms a layer of copper onto a nylon fabric with silver already on it. We dip this copper-coated fabric into a chemical solution. Overnight, a chemical reaction causes nanostructures to grow onto the surface of the copper. We've literally changed the chemistry of the fabric surface. The nanostructures are like tiny needles which cover the entire surface of the fabric. It is these needles which draw the oil and allow water to run straight off the surface of the fabric. We've tested this with crude oil, olive oil and peanut oil and the nanofabric separates the oils from water every time. It also soaks up crude oil from fresh and salt water so nanofabric could be used to clean up oil spills on any ocean, lake or river. Large pieces of nanofabric could be used by boats to mop up oil spills and then later washed and reused in the future. But this isn't the nanofabric's only trick. Because its copper coating naturally degrades water pollutants like bacteria or these heavy metal ions, it can make water supplies safer. So in remote communities and developing countries, nanofabric could be used to treat water and potentially save lives. The next step is to scale up the size of our nanofabric. If we can clean up oil and treat water in our lab with just a small piece, imagine how effective nanofabric will be in sheets the size of swimming pools. And that would leave us with cleaner oceans and waterways and a healthier planet.